time to go over some dynamical systems, uh, or at least what uh, MA265 calls dynamical systems. If you're taking 266 afterwards, uh, next semester, you or, or at the same time, uh, like I <laughs> like I did. Um, not sure whether I recommend that or not. Uh, you will just see these as first order systems of differential equations. We don't call them anything fancy like uh, dynamical systems, but uh, they're solved in exactly the same way. So uh, just to go over what we're looking for, we're trying to figure out what signs and uh, types of eigenvalues we're dealing with. Uh, if we have purely imaginary eigenvalues, our system is going to uh, spiral in an ellipse around the origin. If we have uh, complex eigenvalues with uh, a positive real part, we will get spirals away from the origin. If we have complex eigenvalues with a negative real part, we will spiral into, oh, whoops, should, no, actually, I'm, I'm not good enough to try to draw the other ones, but uh, it will spiral into the origin. Then if we have purely real uh, positive eigenvalues, we will get this uh, kind of radial flow out from the origin. And if we have negative real eigenvalues, radial flow into the origin, uh, that, that would be um, a stable origin and, and, our, and our negative, sorry, our positive eigenvalues would give us an unstable origin. Uh, you can kind of think of it as how water would uh, flow off of a mountain. Uh, the, the, the summit of the very tippy top of the mountain is the only stable position, uh, whereas if, it, if you're at the bottom of an ocean trench or something, uh, everything eventually comes to the same stable position in the end. And then our final one that we're looking for is uh, a saddle point. So if we have if we have a uh, positive eigenvalue and a negative eigenvalue, and they're both real, then if these are our eigenvectors, we'll get some kind of uh, behavior like this, where solutions uh, are first run along one eigenvalue, one eigenvector, sorry, and then are attracted to a uh, second eigenvector as time goes on. So let's just uh, solve away. We're solving the determinant of a minus lambda i, so that's 1 minus lambda times negative 2 minus lambda minus 4 equals 0. This is lambda squared plus lambda minus 2 minus 4 is minus 6. That's a b. Minus 6 is equal to 0. This will factor to lambda plus 3, lambda minus 2. So we have a positive and a negative value uh, for our eigenvalues, so we're dealing with a saddle point. Uh, let's consider this system. We're solving 3 minus lambda times negative 3 minus lambda plus 5 is equal to 0. Lambda squared minus 9 plus 5 is minus 4. Minus 4 is equal to 0. This will give us lambda equals plus or minus 2. Plus or minus 2. So we will have uh, yet another saddle point to deal with. And you'll notice how they kind of have changed the terminology that they use for this over the years. Uh, and you'll also learn new terminology for all of these in, in uh, MA266, where you know they're calling the origin stable and unstable. That corresponds with uh, stable is an attractor, unstable is a repeller, but a saddle point remains the same. And then for 16, our final question, uh, we're just doing the same thing. 1 minus lambda, negative lambda minus 2 is equal to 0. Lambda squared minus lambda minus 2 is equal to 0. Will this factor? Uh, yes, it will. Lambda minus 2, lambda plus 1 is equal to 0. And would you look at that, another saddle point. So the, I, didn't, I didn't choose for things to work out this way. This is just how the last couple of years of exams have uh, worked out where we've gotten a saddle point uh, every single time. But just to reiterate the other things you're looking for, uh, positive real eigenvalues, 
you will get you will get a uh, repeller, uh, negative real eigenvalues. You will get an attractor as your origin. Uh, we've seen saddle point. Then uh, it's 266 terminology, but I think it might be relevant here if you just get uh, spiraling behavior around uh, the origin, spiraling in and, and spiraling out. We call those spiral sinks and uh, spiral sources. And then purely imaginary eigenvalues uh, where we just get elliptical uh, static um, circles around our, our uh, origin. Uh, we call that a center. So hopefully this was a good little review